Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at wave energy. What is wave energy? Well, similar to tidal energy, wave energy is a renewable energy source that is produced from the force of the waves pushing air into a turbine. Now, this is not the same as tidal energy because tidal energy uses the natural ebb and flow of the sea produced from tides but wave energy um, uses the air in a kind of pocket to be pushed into a turbine. And we're going to look at how that happens in a moment. Wave energy is generally produced on a beach using a wave power station. And the wave power station is what manipulates this flow of air. The energy is converted into electricity. So how does a wave power station work? Well, this is what a wave power station looks like. We have an elevated platform next to the sea, and then we have a chamber which we produce which the sea's waves can then flow into. So the sea's waves flow into this chamber and then we start to get air moving. This happens because firstly, the waves that arrive at the shore can travel into the chamber. As they're in the chamber and they're moving, the force of these pushing waves against the chamber um, are going to cause the water to move up and down. As the water is moving up and down, the air above it is pushed upwards towards the turbine. The moving air is forced through this turbine, causing it to spin, and of course the turbine is connected to a generator, which is going to start to produce electricity. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of using wave energy from a wave power station. The advantages are that it's renewable and sustainable, it reduces the dependence on a single resource, it produces no harmful pollutants, for example CO2 or um, carbon monoxide, and it's as well as cheap to set up as it is as um, to maintain it as it has very low running costs. However, there are quite a few disadvantages for wave energy. The first of which is that it makes a lot of noise and it's not always sufficiently wavy for it to work. It can only be built near the sea, which is a problem because you can't use it in remote areas uh, that are landlocked. And also it takes time to transmit energy to non-coastal areas. Let's say we're using this in Bournemouth to be able to produce wave energy, but if we want to transmit this energy all the way to London, it's going to take a long time. Electricity is also lost along the long transmission route that it's going to take, so for example from Bournemouth to, the U to um, London, which is going to be very costly and not very efficient. Here are some questions on wave energy. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on wind energy. As always, thanks for watching and good luck in your exam.